the military has had a very uh, strong and long association with, with mapping in general. With increasing digitization, uh, we have tried to create information advantage using digital products and data to help people to understand and plan and navigate uh, across uh, a range of operations, right from humanitarian crisis response uh, through to military operations uh, and, and wartime. So our relationship with, with Esri goes back well over 30 years. Um, and as the digitization uh, and technology improved, so we were able to use the software better to help us manipulate the data that we were collecting. In terms of humanitarian response, we were able to bring vast amounts of data, not just of the physical environment, but also of the, of the human environment, which uh, allowed us to look at vulnerable people uh, and where those people needed most aid effort. This was particularly so uh, in Hurricane Irma in 2017, uh, where we deployed a team to look at initial sort of damage assessment when it came to military operations, which has really been our basis from which we've developed, uh, much more focused on the physical terrain. Um, but certainly as we moved into Afghanistan and the amount of data that we had available, we were able to look uh, a lot more closely uh, in terms of where IEDs might be being placed, uh, route vulnerabilities, where the population was, and the way that the Afghan population had changed uh, over the period of time and how we would made improvements. By using ArcGIS Online, uh, we were able to provide data, live data to all planners. We were able to gather the really key data uh, and attribute data according to certain locations to enrich and enhance the picture that we were providing. One of the key examples, when the COVID pandemic first started, uh, this was obviously a national crisis. And really the first thing we had to do was work out how the military could help. When we started the mass testing in Liverpool, we had a number of centers around Liverpool. Using the Survey123 application, we were able to monitor attendance uh, in, in real time at various centers and therefore direct the population to different centers where there may have been lower activity so we could manage the flow of the population into those mass testing sites. I'm incredibly proud of the work that has been done by the RE Geotechnician. It's given us the confidence that these applications really do work and therefore we are rolling it out uh, to our overseas operations. I think our strategic partnership with, with Esri and the way that they are developing the technology uh, allows us to be able to innovate and deliver those services uh, much more quickly and improve the way that we deliver our services and our geospatial analysis uh, to all of our stakeholders uh, across the military and across government.